Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the city, decorations abound. We're making people keep. Now I know what you must be thinking. What the f am I looking at? Well, this is a bona fide Christmas special, sir or madam. And for those who are unaware, which is most of you, those boys in the van are Banjo and his brother Buckshot. And this is the story of quite possibly their craziest Christmas on record. Let's start this shit. Roll it. 122.5 XMAS. We begin our story in the small town of Sandy Shores at the small airfield where the brothers call home. Now, who are Banjo and Buckshot? Why do they live in an old airfield hangar that they call the cave? Cause America, that's why. Now stop asking questions cause here comes Buckshot and his nuncle Cletus now. Thanks for the ride, nephew. Who, uh, who, who does that bartender think she is? Cut me off like that. My money's, my money's blue, ain't it? Don't you mean green? Isn't that what I said? Plus, you get kind of fatty when you drink. I do no such thing. Little man, you know you shouldn't. Wait. Well, if you look at a fella funny, expect to become funny looking. Standard life rules, Buckshot. Speaking of which, did you get Banjo's present yet? Well, um, um, uh, well, well, not yet. Well, you know how much your brother loves Christmas. Probably had our gifts picked out months ago. I'm sure you'll think of something. If not, the guy who wrote this special will. Wait, what? Good night, nephew. Fires of Christmas. Give me a six pack. Don't mess around the sun. Probably out of his channel. I'm sure you'll be something. I'm a simple man with simple needs Peace and automobiles for my family and me I've had a dream since I was a lad And if it came true, I would be oh so very glad Oh Santa, all I want is the ecto Hand me the keys to my hopes and my dreams In the 
Merry Christmas. That's, uh, that's the Ecto-1. Yep. The Ecto-1. From the masterpiece known as Ghostbusters. Yep. Th the original car. Yep. Did, did Curtis help you? Nope. For, for me. Yep. Merry Christmas. You okay? Buddy, I am happier than a pig in flop. I'm happier than a hooker on payday. I'm happier than the time Uncle Cletus blew up that abandoned building with Curtis. We're not supposed to talk about that. Buckshot, this is the single greatest gift you've ever given me. But buddy, where did you get this? I borrowed it from Hollywood. What? What do you mean, borrowed it from Hollywood? Excuse me, sir. Hey, I have a question for you. Ma'am, I don't. Ma'am? Sir, I can assure you I am not old enough to be ma'am yet. Anyway, where do all these cars come from? Like, are there warehouses full of these vehicles waiting to be displayed? Also, what makes one car worthy of being in this museum and not another? Like, for example, why don't y'all have the Charger from the Fast and the Furious movies? Now, that is a car that deserves to be immortalized. Ma'am, I do not have the answers you're looking for. Why? Because I'm a security guard, not the help desk. If a child touched an exhibit, I'd crack his head with my baton. If an elderly person got confused and wandered into a restricted area, I'd tase them until they filled their depends. If there is an active shooter, I'd pull out my sardine, put two in your chest and one in your head and say they did it. If the place was on fire, I'd walk out the front door, lock you all inside and watch you burn to death. Why? Because I'm a fucking security guard. Now, get your bony ass in the elevator, take it to the first floor, I don't even know how you found the second floor, and go to the goddamn help desk. I'm sure they can help you. So let me get this straight. You waltzed into a heavily guarded Hollywood museum and just drove up with an iconic movie car 
all because you wanted to get me my dream Christmas gift. That about sums it up. Buddy, this is the best Christmas gift I've ever gotten, but we got to bring it back. But why? Why? Well, it wouldn't be Christmas if he was in jail now, would it? So let's hop in, bring it back, and drop it off in a parking lot somewhere. Breaking news out of Hollywood. It appears the iconic ghost-busting vehicle Ecto-1 has been stolen from its home in the Hollywood Star Car Museum. We've received word the Los Angeles Police Department has requested help from the National Guard to find this treasured piece of Hollywood history. Ghostbusters co-creator Dan Aykroyd has yet to comment on whether or not he believes extraterrestrials are involved. This story is developing. Well, that complicates things a bit. Plus, it doesn't run well. they let a national treasure like this get in such bad condition? Hollywood don't give no fucks. <sighs> Pretty much. You know, we can't give her back in this bad a shape. What do you say we fix her up and give her back to Hollywood? You know, like a Christmas present. You know, just uh, you can't let the Mona Lisa have chip paint. You know I'm in. Ha! <laughs> I knew you would be. This is going to be the best gift we've ever given. Only one problem. Where are we going to find a new engine? That was fast. Where'd you get that? Oh, I had a buddy who owed me a favor. Let's get to work. Till you see the Corvette I bought myself for Christmas. <laughs> Fully loaded LS3 with a... With a... Where the f*** is my car? Did it come with an invisibility package? I heard that was an option. never looked better. Dan Aykroyd wishes she ran like this in the 80s. You know what to do? Punch it. My personal two favorite words. Suspension improvements seem to be really holding up. Banjo and Buckshot really put the old Cadillac through its paces. I mean, wouldn't you? Anyway, they drove, drifted, screeched, and burned tires till the sunset. But all good things must come to an end. Now, how are we gonna sneak this into the city? I got some idea. What'd you think? Are, are you sure this is safe? I don't think you want me to answer that. So not only did they steal my brand new Corvette, they're the ones who stole that Vectomobile. Uh, sir, it's Ectomobile, as in ectoplasm. As in, ain't that what I said, you nit? 
Now come on, let's catch these boys red-handed. What color are their hands now? Did you eat paint chips growing up, boy? It's 80 miles to Hollywood on Christmas Eve. We got a full tank of gas, a stolen car on the roof, and we're wearing sunglasses. Eddie. Hollywood's miles away. How are we gonna get there in time? Oh, we'll travel by jump cut. Celebrity? Nah, everybody knows celebrities aren't. Roadblock. Roadblocks aren't celebrities? No, roadblock. Oh, roadblock. Okay, be cool, brother. Be cool. Evening, officer. I, uh, I see y'all are out in full force tonight. Oh, yes. We'll find whoever stole that car. Don't you fret. Last I heard, they're actually bringing in the Marines to help with the search. Oh, I, I thought it was the National Guard. Oh, them too. Aside from the highly suspicious container on your roof, I see no reason to detain you. Have a Merry Christmas. All right, well, happy holidays, officer. It's Merry Christmas, you savages! Who ends up? Make black drywall and punch it. All units will be yuletide denier on the loose! Unable to read suspects. Well, you stop yelling into the microphone, Jenkins. I was trying to be polite. I don't understand. Maybe he's just having a bad day. Oh, I wish Curtis was here. He'd know what to do. Turn here, turn here, turn here. Twas the night before Christmas and all through the city. Look out for that. People Narrator. beautiful than a Georgia sunrise. Okay, now let's get... Oh, I got you boys now. Theft of a Hollywood icon, that's a nice 10 year jail sentence. Not to mention the theft of my brand new Corvette. What you just mentioned. Shut up! This is all my fault. What, what do you mean, buddy? Your gift's rude. Mine always suck. I just want to get you something meaningful for Christmas. Like you do for everyone and me. Meaningful for... Oh, that's right. I, I got interrupted before I could sing the third verse of my Christmas song. There will be no singing on this roof. There's no way out for you two. This is it. Actually, there's two ways out. I'll shut up now. It can't be. Is 
that. Curtis! And Uncle Cletus. Curtis! I'm happier than a termite on a wood deck to see you! It's good to see you guys too! I got a van! I got you! Consider this your Christmas present, you idiots! Sir, I think we going to jail. I think I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Sir, we found the ectomobile. It is a Christmas miracle. Hollywood. What a town. What an adventure. Thank you, Buckshot. For what? We had to give your gift back. Little brother, you've given me the greatest gift since the day you was born. A friend. With that comes fun, laughter, and clearly adventure. You've already given me the greatest Christmas gift. Just, just you. Just, just wonderful you. Now... Let's get back to the cave before Cletus raids the liquor cabinet. What, 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 the, what the hell is this? This is, this is a genuine mint condition 1959 Cadillac ambulance. I mean, maybe not mint condition. It looks like it's about to fall apart. But I mean, uh, we can make ourselves a genuine Ecto-1. Was, was this you? Don't look at me. I only stole one Cadillac for Christmas. No f***ing way. Next time, write to me before stealing again, Buckshot. Otherwise, you will both very good this year. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year! Ho, 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 ho.